Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at some of the features that I was able to see. And these are going to be some of the Cetus or Austrian items coming into the game. Hopefully some of these items will come in the next few updates and hopefully it will not take too long. Now I know a lot of you might have overlooked some of these items. But as you can see, Cetus is actually evolving and it has evolved massively compared to what it looked like during the first Plains of Eidolon update. Now we have had new items from events and also new items from bounties, but we have also have Cetus based items like the carpets recently available in the market. Now the existence of things like this also makes you look at the social area with a really great and a really keen eye for discovery as well. So I've put together a list of items possibly coming into the game within the next few updates. And these are based on items that we can see available and some of the sounds and some of the voice lines that we've seen accompany a lot of these items as well. Now the first one is going to be the Oricon consoles. And by now, a lot of these decorations in the game are part of essential ways in Warframe. And these gold consoles look like they might actually fit in one of the floor panels that we can see in the operator's transference rooms. We have about four of them or five of them in there. So this looks like it will fit in one of those. And we may actually use it in the future to transport to a different portion of the orbiter or the massive Tenno ship. Now the next one is going to be the Austrian Cuisine. Now this was mentioned several times during the Cedar scripts. If you farm some of the items and scan a lot of this, you will be able to see that they mention this. And it is basically part of the Austrian tradition. This is the key to a lot of things. Now as a key to this, you can see that there's vendors and attendants are also getting a little bit more closer we are starting to see more people on Cetus as well. Now, I'm not just talking about players, but I'm also talking about NPCs. Now, in the RPG logic, those look like they are going to also serve as a meal to boost operator health and survival when you look at the Austrian cuisine, which also brings me to the different kinds of meats we see here on Cetus. Now, we already know that we have the Unum Tower providing meat. We know that we have fishing as also a way of providing food, but I'm also thinking that they may introduce a different way because of some of the different meats that we see here. And those things may even include wildlife hunts for different or new animals that we may see in the game next time. Now, speaking of hunting, if you take a closer look, you will also see the reveal of a really bluish items and components for newer weapons or Cetus. Now, these are some of the things that you haven't seen in a while, but a lot of these things snuck themselves into the update. And we can see these blue items and these blue parts around the area. And you will also see some vendor items and different uh, metals also on Hawk's table. And those also look amazing. Now, one of the crazy and amazing thing about this is also the fact that whenever you get close to some of these vendors, they will also yell that they have blades and components for gilding. So Hawk might not be the only one who is able to do a lot of this. You may have different vendors who will be able to guild things such as operator armors, warframe armors, or give you a whole new design. And this is one of the things that I'm seeing DE introduce very soon because it will also bolster and improve the RPG element in Warframe. And you will see a lot of those very much in most RPGs like Black Desert, RPGs like Guild Wars 2. So I'm thinking Warframe might also introduce a lot of those, a little bit of those Monster Hunter elements as well. Now, I will also say some of these items could be Operator items. It may not just be Warframe items. It could be decorations. It could be things that doesn't even have any combat value or things to improve. Now, they also mentioned melee animations for operators during Deathstream 100. So that is also one of the things that made me also think we might be seeing operator melee very soon. But that is a long stretch because I haven't seen them even mention it after then. So that might be something that has been pushed up either to the future, maybe the next five updates, or something they're going to use to surprise us, either at Tenocon or in the next few updates. Now at the end, we have more baskets and items for decorations. This could also lead to the large scaling of some of the 
current orbiter spaces or the Lisette spaces as well. So we could be seeing some of those expansion and stretches of those locations as well. And let me know what you guys think about these items. If you also want to find out or also want to uncover a lot of these things by yourself, you can go on to Cedars and you'll be able to find a lot of these items. They are right there. All you have to do is walk around and you can also go back and watch Deathstream 100 for some of those information as well because you will see some of the items that they revealed in there. They hinted about some of them and some of them will definitely come into the game and some of them are just a, maybe an idea that they just threw out there as something that they may or thought about implementing in the future. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you would love to see more on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.